What is up, Madden 25 Gamers? In today's episode of Defensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to take a look at some run defense. Remember last week, we went over a new concept on run defense, uh, a blitzing the middle linebacker. I really like that, and we're going to expand on it this week. Uh, we're going to show you where in the sub-236 normal package can be found in the Baltimore Ravens defense play, but can also be found in the... I think it be I think it can be found in Arizona and I think it can be found in Houston's playbook as well. It's a it's a formation that's in a lot of three four playbooks. So um, the run defense we're going to be looking at today uh, it comes to us from the free safety middle three. Um, this is the basic run defense that I like to use, and uh, let's hop into it. So basically, free safety middle three it has both elements of what we used in the last couple weeks. And basically, what we're going to do is we're just going to baseline press. Okay, there's that front. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to crash our line out, we're going to re-blitz our left-to-screen linebacker, and our job is to user control the right safety in the, in the middle seam. So this is our, our zone right here. And now if you want, um, real quick, if you want to do, let me reset that play real quick, if you want to, you could call man a line at first, and then baseline press, rebalance the zones, and do all that. What I like about this run defense, and, and you know, you want to get Jackson over here, over the center. What I like about this run defense is it kills, all, it just shoots the gaps very well. So for a run like Power O, we're just going to come down, and we just use her. And the beauty of this, and this is actually, the right side is probably where you're most vulnerable. So if you're facing something like this, you may flip the play, but it doesn't matter. It's the same thing both ways. But with the formation's alignment, let me get these linebackers in the proper position. Let me see what we got here. There we go. So now I got Jackson in the A gap. I got balance. I got three, three. So I got a seven man front with the three safety up top. And basically, if you count the numbers, what should happen is you have three, 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 all of them occupied. You're going to fill the lane with the fullback. Your job is to follow the fullback. Wherever he goes, you go. So the fullback goes right. I'm just trying to blow up the fullback and wrap up in the backfield. That's all I'm trying to do. Let's go. All right. They were going to run it left. Left is where you're actually left is where you want them to run it. Um, so real quick, run it left. And I'm just following the fullback. The fullback's my responsibility. My job is to blow up the fullback, shoot the gaps. Blow up the fullback, shoot the gaps. Every single time, no matter what the run is, uh, it's my job to follow the fullback. So here, follow the fullback up the A-gap, but give my corner on the outside an opportunity to tackle. All right, so that's the, uh, that's the outside run. I'll show you the inside run here. Uh, strong pro HB dive. I'll show you that. It's all the same. Um, and actually, a play I really have been liking is the prow slant three seam because you can actually make a blitz out of it. So I guess we'll show you that because it's the same idea. So but we, if we want to send pressure out of this, we're just going to baseline press, crash line out, and we're done. We have pressure um, out of this blitz here. And so we can now, if we want, I mean, we can now use the middle linebacker in this run defense. And basically, you're just filling the lane. So you see dive, you just blow up the fullback, and it's the same responsibilities both ways. You're, you know, it's, a, it's the same run defense, it's just you're using a different person. Okay, so here we go. Now he's going to run uh, HP dive again. Snap, go. We're going to blow up the A-gap and just try to shoot it. And that's the thing about this. When you're using the middle linebacker, you have got to be cognitive. you gotta, you got to understand the fact that they're going to run the ball up the middle. But the thing that you got to have is you got to have two monsters at defensive tackle to blow it up. And then you've got to be a user monster and just come in there and shoot that gap. And you should be good because the outside run the outside run is not happening. And uh, that's what I like about this. If we can contain the outside run, we can stop the inside run. So real quick, let me hop back into that power O real quick for you. Show you what that will look like when you're using the middle linebacker. Here we're using the linebacker. We flow, and we just shoot that gap right there. Now, that's poor skill by me. It's, it's partially because I'm using two controllers uh, and trying to control both sides. So get back over here. And let's get back into the power O. And like I said, you know, we're just kind of following. And if we want to, we could just shoot the A-gap every single time. And that's actually something I really like to do this year. Um, if we want to on the power O, if we just shoot the A-gap real quick, let me show you that one more time. 
crap. My linebackers are messed up. All right, there we go. So if we really wanted to just shoot the A-gap, we could literally just come through the A-gap every time on every running play and just say, gap integrity, show up for me. Safeties, make a play. So here again, just shoot the A-gap, lock up that power O guard. But the only problem with that is that right there, if that backer on the right is not big for you, if he doesn't make a play, you can be in trouble because of the fact that there's no outside because your corners can't tackle. And that, I mean, well, they can't tackle in this game, in this year's game. So, that's just kind of the idea here. Yeah, but, but again, I really have been liking, just come through the A-gap and just say, okay, force him, force the safeties. But then again, there you see, you can get burned with that run D. So, two different run defenses. One's a little bit more passive. And then two different, also two different mindsets for you. Um, when you see a, when you, definitely when you see that back dive, you got to blow it up in the A-gap. you just got to blow up in the A-gap. Otherwise, you're going to get screwed. Otherwise, they're going to pound forward. You have to blow that run up. Uh, it's just so important. And then if you, like I said, if you see power O, there's a couple of different ways to defend that. Um, obviously, one of which is aggressive if you just shoot the A-gap. The other one is if you just flow, 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 fill that full back up in the lane so he doesn't have a lead blocker, allow your corners to tackle. So two different run defenses for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you didn't, let me know. Let me hear your feedback. What run defenses do you like out of the run defenses that I've broken down so far? Thanks for watching this week, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow with our pressure, which is actually why I picked the 236.